On a beautiful day in Vancouver, we're joined by Rick Mazur, CEO of Alta Ventures, trading on the Venture Exchange as ATV. Rick, thank you for being here with us. Good to see you again, Rachel. Yeah, so uh, let's start off uh, with introducing the company and the main projects, Oxford Lake and Destiny, to our audience members. The two main projects that we're focused on right now are the Oxford Lake project, which is 100% owned in Manitoba. It has the potential to be a very large uh, gold gold deposit discovered by Naranda in the 1990s. About 150,000 ounces have been delineated so far. And our destiny project in Quebec, where we spent a lot of time working on that project over the years, and we've got about 600,000 ounces of gold there. Right. Now, in May of this year, you sold Windfall East, your other uh, major project, to Bowfield uh, Resources. So why was that a strategic move, and what were some of the terms of that uh, deal? The whole uh, Osisco windfall area got very, very uh, hot in the springtime. And we had a small property called the Windfall East property, which mm -hmm. was right next door to some successful drilling that Osisco was doing, which suggested that uh, uh, the new link zone that they discovered uh, could trend on to our property. Mm -hmm. And we were approached by Bowfield Resources, who were right next door uh, with a very attractive offer. Uh, which we decided uh, we should seize the opportunity mm -hmm. because we wanted to focus on some of our other projects. Uh, we've got $300,000 in cash and uh, 2.75 million Bowfield shares mm -hmm. and a 1% royalty. royalty. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bowfield actually put uh, $350,000 in a private placement into Alto as well. So will this license extend your summer program? Yeah, we've got another five kilometers of uh, the prospective trend, and we have uh, eight men uh, on the ground doing prospecting, mapping, and sampling right okay. now. So, Rick, what does the indication at the uh, Rusty Lake Gold Deposit mean for the Blue Jay, uh, Blue Jay project that you have? The Rusty Lake Deposit discovered by Naranda uh, indicated 150,000 ounces of gold, mm -hmm. and the Blue Jay Deposit, two kilometers to the east, uh, was only tested by three drill holes, and in those three drill holes, they uh, detected multiple iron formation horizons with gold in them. So there's tremendous potential for uh, for a, a large uh, tonnage of, of gold there. Right, and what is the parallel comparison to, to Meadowbank again? Yeah, uh, uh, these banded iron formation deposits, as I said, uh, can be large. Mm -hmm. uh, Meadowbank is a, is a good analogy to what we're looking for mm -hmm. at Oxford Lake. At Meadowbank, when the production decision was made, they had a little more <clears throat> than 3 million ounces of gold grading at 3.5 grams per ton, uh, open pitable. Mm -hmm. And that was uh, in uh, the, the Meadowbank deposit there was a series of these iron formations right. that could be mined by open pit and, and uh, when averaged out uh, to about three and a half grams was mm -hmm. a very economic open pit. And the Blue Jay zone is, has a very similar geological setting. So it's a good indication of hopefully the same sort of result. We sure hope so. Yeah. That's uh, that's going to be the focus uh, for us this mm -hmm. this coming winter uh, when we uh, get drilling. So for Destiny, your other uh, flagship project, what are the future plans for it? We did do an in-house study of the underground resource potential, mm -hmm. and the potential there that we uncovered was uh, about uh, 100,000 ounces of gold grading close to 7 grams per ton mm -hmm. uh, from the work that's been done on uh, one very small part of a three kilometer long trend of gold uh, on our DAC deposit. The game plan is to joint venture that out. We'd, okay. we'd like to find a partner for that project. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're, we're a project generator type company. Right. And do you have a time frame for, for that? Well, we, we've uh, we signed a few CAs okay. uh, already, and certain companies are, are, are having a look at it. And, okay. And we'll continue to pursue that, uh, that avenue. Now let's move on to the last question I have for you. So what makes Alto Ventures a standout from the other junior plays in, in the space? Obviously, when, when a, a major gold discovery is, is made, that's where the greatest upside is in this business. Uh, right now, the company has a market cap of maybe $3 million. 
um, uh, if we discover something similar to uh, you know a metal bank deposit or say uh, the back river deposit mm -hmm. which is another iron formation hosted deposit uh, that Sabina gold and silver uh, has they have a 250 million dollar market cap so uh, our our upside is that, you've had that, that that big discovery right. and uh, uh, we'll we'll hopefully demonstrate that uh, this winter when we um, uh, put together a really strong right. drill, drill campaign. All right, Rick, thank you for your time today. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, to learn more about Alto Ventures, you can go to their investor hub on smallcappower.com. I'm Rachel Lee for Small Cap Power.